How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. We might be breaking this one up into two parts. I'm not sure. We're just gonna see how much work we can get done in a given weekend. We're doing the biggest install I've done in a while on this car. We are installing the Blackbird Fabworks roll bar onto the NC Miata. One thing we need to do first is we need to get all of this out of the car. We need to get the stock roll bar out, the plastics behind the seats, we need to get the soft top out, uh, the back plastics, everything needs to come out for us to get this roll bar in. So I think I'm just gonna jump in and just start taking things apart, see how far we get today. Um, and that will determine whether or not we make a two part video. I'm gonna do my best. Like I said, I do everything on the weekend, so. Here we go. I haven't moved my passenger seat in a really long time. And I found a, uh, looks like a bolt for the uh, top latches, which is funny. And uh, now I can turn off ads on this video because I got a penny. So you're welcome. Here's something funny. So the foam trick for the rear works really great, but I've tested a lot of different uh, different styles of mounting it and all of them have fallen back here. That's too funny. Those have been in there for, gosh, six years, five years now, crazy. But as you can tell, we've got the rear plastics behind the seat. We've got them all off. Um, so now we're gonna work on getting uh, the seat belt guides out and then I think we can start removing the soft top just chipping away at this fun to learn I've never taken apart any of this stuff before so all a new experience granted I'm not gonna have to put it back together but I guess I'll know in the future Update, we've got the OEM roll bar out. You can see there's two feet there. This attaches into the little like soft top frame. And then there were two arms coming off here. So definitely not as uh, spread out as our new one's going to be. Um, we're gonna have some rear bars that go towards the back. And uh, then we'll have the side bars and the front bars as well. So. I'm not super well versed in like what, how many points this is as far as a roll bar goes, but you can tell there's a huge difference. So also got all this other plastic out, had to take the driver's seat out, which kind of stuck. It's not hard, but I just didn't want to. And this is it, we're getting there. Here's what uh, we've got left. So soft top frame, I think this is part of the frame at least, and we're just gonna keep working getting all this plastic out, getting the soft top out, and then we can uh, test fit the roll bar. All right, well, oh my gosh, it's impossible to get out. All right, so I've got, as far as I know, the soft top is all uh, free got the side brackets here free and then it just kind of clicks in along the rear so I'm wondering if I just pull it all forward that seems like it's kind of what it wants to do so uh, I'm just gonna try that I think
All right, guys, we did it. Soft top is out. Really uh, wasn't too bad. Just a lot of um, kind of figuring it out. I mean, I've got cobwebs in here, which is silly. This all needs a cleaning. I never clean my rain drains, but uh, they're pretty nasty. So this is it, I'm tired. So this is our little uh, bulkhead kind of sheet metal. The trunk is right through here. So kind of interesting to see it all, uh, all out and bare. Our gas tank is obviously here. This is just uh, kind of interesting to me to learn about something new and like I said, I've never taken all this apart before, so really pretty cool. So I think what I'm going to do next is uh, do a mock-up of the roll bar, just setting it in, um, seeing how it'll look, and then we'll see. I think I might call it after that, though. I've got it backwards. Damn it! All right, maybe it's not ready to test fit yet. I think I need to take out the rain guards. Here it is. It's mocked up. That is so awesome. It's crazy to see the car finally with the proper roll bar. Now I can't shoot, show you the feet or where the feet sit, but that is pretty cool. I am stoked on that. I love it. So here it is. The Blackbird Fabworks GT Roll Bar. I'm just going to take it in, take it in, and then I think I'm going to call it for today. Tomorrow we are going to be drilling, uh, bolting in, all of that, and I'm going to reread all the instructions over and over. So, I'm just gonna skip ahead. This will be a longer video, but we're getting the roll bar installed. So, see you guys in a second. We are working on now, and I know this is the same video, but, so what we are working on now is we've got the roll bar mocked up in place, and now we need to get the rear wheels off, and we're gonna do some drilling, some marking, measuring, uh, making sure everything is aligned and square where it needs to be and then we can get this thing really mounted in and once that's done We're done which is exciting because I don't have to put in any of this stuff again um, Which is great. So just have to throw the seat back in and then we can uh, be all bolted up. There are uh, Eight nine ten. I think there's about 15 places. We need to bolt it in um, and then we'll be pretty much done. So like I said, I can't show you the feet of this. So what I'm basically just gonna be doing is, um, you know, doing my best to shoot the parts of it that I can. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get to work, drill into the body. It's not like I haven't done any of this before. I'm just so tired. We were watching Formula One uh, Friday night and Saturday night, because it was in Australia, the races that were like 12 and one in the morning for qualifying and I'm just, so beat, but we're gonna keep on. I wanna finish this this weekend before it starts raining so I can get the golf back inside. Um, and I'm gonna get the car up on jack stands, get the wheels off, and then we're just gonna get started and finish this install up. All right guys, so uh, unfortunately I have to stop right here. I need to get this video out. I've been at it for a couple hours now and the issue I ran into was I didn't check all my tools. So always make sure you have all the tools. I thought I did. I thought I had a step bit that went up to an inch. I don't. I went to Home Depot, got a couple, I got some Dremel bits. Those are gonna take literally forever if I use those Dremel bits. And I bought a hole saw, a metal hole saw, but um, it didn't include the drill bit, which wouldn't have mattered anyways because you're supposed to like drill it all at once. And I tried to line it up and it, immediately moved off, so that's not gonna work either. So I ordered a step bit, um, should be here this week. So this video is going to have to be part one, unfortunately, but thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next weekend's video where we get this roll bar installed, hopefully all the way, but I've got all the holes drilled 
everything's ready to go except for that one inch step bit and then we'll be installing it in no time. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button, leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.